What is up, guys? This is Anthony back at it. And let me tell you, I code every day, but I haven't posted a video in a long time because I've been busy with work and it is difficult to code and post videos. I don't see how people do it unless it's full time. I can kind of understand, but for me, it's not. So today we're actually just going to go through uh, what people are doing throughout the world to gain access into your websites. So I, I like WordPress. I use WordPress for a lot of things. Uh, the good thing is that it's open source and I'm able to just pull information from all different places and there's plenty of documentation. The bad thing is it's open source and that allows hackers to do bad things and try to take over your website. So interestingly enough, I actually uh, found, went through my site and found that there's people hitting this thing every single day trying to get into my site. And frankly, I don't care if they do because my site's more just a playground for me. I play around with it. I'm not trying to promote it and I'm, there's really nothing valuable there. So uh, with that said, check this out. If you have some form of a hosting account with a cPanel, and if you go down to your visitors and take a look at your visitors, you're gonna get to a screen which will list all of your domains and subdomains. Once you pick one, you'll have a list of all of the visitors that have hit your site. Now I've already preloaded this here, but if you take a look here, this IP address here is clearly trying to hack into my site. They are just mapping through, trying to do a scan and figure out what users do I have, what is the information about my site. So if you're a WordPress developer, have a WordPress site, try to just go into this particular URL. Type in your URL, here I'll click it, and you see your URL and then you've got wp-tac-json slash wp slash v2 slash users slash one and see what comes up because Honestly, by default, this stuff is typically open. Uh, WordPress core does not lock it down, although there are ways to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, but in this video, I'm just gonna go over some of the stuff that's open and what people have been trying to do to me. And they're probably trying to do it, do it to you too because these things are bots. They're not necessarily targeting your specific IP. They're targeting a range of IPs and they're going down the list and they're just looping through scanning your stuff. It's totally crazy. So in this case, I just went to it and look what it tells them. It tells them uh, admin, ooh great, there's your default uh, user, admin. Now they know that there's somebody with a username of admin. They've learned something about my site and now everybody on the internet knows that I have at this website uh, admin as a username. Frankly, again, I don't care. Have fun with it. My entire website could disappear tomorrow and I really don't care because I won't put anything valuable out there. With that said, uh, you can take a look at, let's go back to this previous page here and see that they're they're obviously using like a curl or something to that effect. You know, users one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10. So it's a very, very short loop. And, you know, I'll go to the next page and just look, they're curling through authors, two, three, four, five, six. And what it does is it pulls back that, that JSON code to their site and they're able to to basically map out the stuff in your website that you may not necessarily want them to know about. So let me show you something else that I found. I'll have to remember exactly where it was here. Uh, I think, let me go back here to this one maybe. Check this out, all right. If you look closely, you will see that there is an add-on or a plugin called TRX underscore add-ons, all right? This is something that I don't use, I've never used, and there is no reason why this should be part of a URL scheme that somebody goes to at my site. So I got curious, I'm like, what is this about? If you look a little farther, it says, WP underscore insert underscore user where roles administrator, login is blah, and user password is blah. Now, clearly somebody is trying to use this WP JSON endpoint as a way to access my site and insert a user so that they can use, they can log in later. Uh, that's crazy. I mean, it's it's not uncommon if you're in this world every day, then it's kind of like, you know, no big deal. But a lot of people don't think about these things that it it's literally happening every second. And I would never have known this had I not come to this page or had some sort of a scanning mechanism to know who is visiting my site and what, what they're going to. Um, there should never be a way for somebody to insert a user in your site, obviously, through the browser. And that's exactly what this is trying to do. They did it from two different IP addresses. Let's just see where these people supposedly are. Now, if you know anything about 
hacking, you'll know that a good hacker will obscure their IP address. They will hop through different areas and it will be next to impossible to figure out where they are at. But if I put IP location, actually, I wonder if that's the one. Is that the one that I just, no, that's different. So we'll find that. That apparently is in Paris, France. Now, are they really there? I have no clue. Probably not, uh, because if you notice, the other one here is a completely different IP address, but they're running the exact same thing. So unless two people are doing it, it's probably somebody who's not in Paris. But let's figure out. I haven't actually looked this one up yet to see where they're at. Oh, also in Paris, France. So hey, maybe it is. Maybe it's the same folks doing it. I don't know. You know, I, I really don't know. But I, I tell you, this is very interesting to see the the smarts that people have when they hook up uh, and try to get into your site. It, it, it's just amazing. Now, I happen to Google this TRX underscore add-ons to figure out, you know, what type of vulnerability are we talking here? So I, I did Google it, and the first thing I found was this zero-day vulnerability found in Theme Rex add-ons now patched. So this is very recent, March 9th, 2020. It was patched by Chloe. I mean, this was published by Chloe Chamberlain, but it was patched. And this website actually goes into the specific vulnerability, how it worked. Uh, basically, all this was doing is it, there's an arrest endpoint sitting in the plugin where if somebody types what they typed into the browser and hit enter, it'll run this code. And this code will pretty much run any function that they type into the browser. That's oversimplifying it, but that's basically what it was doing. And the code that it was executing, which they typed in the browser, happened to be WP underscore insert underscore user. That is that is the code that it execute executes. Uh, it has been patched. You know, there's some fixes here, and there are different firewall type plugins and and other things that are are stopping these particular vulnerabilities in third party plugins. Um, plugins themselves are updating their their stuff. But let me tell you, this is insane. So. Go out there, check out your websites, see what people are trying to do to get into them, because it's very interesting to see, uh, like I said, the smarts that people have to get into your sites. And hey, set up a honeypot, honey pot. just put something out there and see what hits it and see what you can learn about what the, the cyber world is doing. Um, that's pretty much what I, I enjoy doing is sitting around and looking at what all these pe people are doing. So that's all for today. I will post some more videos soon. I've got tons of new work that I've done. I just haven't recorded it. And so stick around, hit subscribe. And uh, that is all. So enjoy. Bye.